channel if you're new to my channel i am karis and guys as you can tell i'm in my bathroom i have my bonnet on i got my robe on so you already know i'm gonna do a little get ready with me but in this get ready with me i'm gonna do a chit chat because i think y'all need an update on my life because y'all i have been doing a lot I've been doing a lot, things been changing, I've been changing, you know, I'm 20 now, so you know, life get the, you know, fighting you a little bit, but I've been good, but I just thought in this video that I would do a little chit chat, a little life update, and tell you guys what's been new with me, so, I'm about to brush my teeth now, so, you know, I'm gonna already go ahead and speed it up. Okay guys, now my watch time, and then I promise, <laughs> I promise I'll talk to you guys. Okay guys, so now, I'm ready for my life update guys, so, first we're gonna talk about school because school if y'all okay so for, so for the people who've been watching me for like since i started my page i was originally um going to school for digital marketing um i was at a community college first so i did i just graduated with my um aa degree thank you thank you thank you yes me yay me yay me in may i graduated with my aa degree uh associates in arts if i did and then after i graduated i was like <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What is digital marketing? And what are the classes looking like? Like, I was just honestly like, I had like a little crisis. And I was literally like, okay, let me make sure I really want to do this. So I looked at like the course schedule or whatever. And I was not liking them classes. Like, them classes was not giving. Because, okay, guys, bad story. So originally, I was doing digital marketing because I thought it was going to teach me more about, you know, social media, you know, how to grow a platform, all this, that, and the third, and let's be honest, what are the professors at the college going to teach me about social media? It's people doing what I want to do right now, by themselves, no degree. So I don't know why I thought, I don't know why I thought that was going to get it. I don't know why I thought that was going to get it. So originally, like, when I was doing the, sorry y'all, my nose itch. But when I was doing digital marketing and I was gonna like shoot and I was choosing the field, I thought it was gonna be more doing like content creation and stuff like that. But it was giving more numbers, more analytics, and like I don't really want to do that. Like that's not what I really wanted to do. And then I was also looking at the you know the salaries, the salaries coming out, and it was not giving. The money wasn't just it just wasn't giving for me. Not that it was like bad money, but like. I didn't like it and I just didn't like what the day to day was because I would look at like damn my life on TikTok and stuff like that and I just didn't like it. So now guys I am doing now oh my robe coming my robe coming undone. But now guys I'm gonna do dental hygiene. I'm gonna be a dental hygienist. Um and I found this because I was like Literally, I took a deep dive. Like when I graduated um, college, I was gonna say high school. When I graduated college with my A degree, I literally just took like the summer semester or a part, a portion of the summer semester, and I just took a deep dive on TikTok on all of the freaking careers, all the careers. Excuse me. I looked up the salary. I looked up the day to day. I looked up the um days off. I looked up the work life balance. Like I looked it all up because I literally. Like, if I'm going to college, if I'm, like, if I'm going to college, if I'm spending my time on something, spending my money on something, I want it to pay off. Like, you know, I want to go to school for something that's going to get me money, not not give me money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because this right here, right here is my dream. Like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do right here. But, of course, you have to, you know, you got to let this grow on the side before I can make it, you know, a main income. So, yeah. So, I was just taking a deep dive on TikTok or whatever, and I looked up and i felt like i just looked into dental hygiene and i came across it and i'm like oh wow like i love it like i love what i'm seeing about this is in third so i looked up like if there's programs near me there was programs at the school i just graduated from so yeah guys and it's a two-year program and i come out making pretty good money so that's what i have decided to do with my schooling so yeah it was all it was like a long journey getting here but 
yeah so now i'm currently i'm currently taking prereqs for that program because you have to have a bunch of science classes and i did not take like i didn't take like lab like science with labs in college because for my major that i was doing i wouldn't need like a whole lot of sciences so i kind of just didn't you know didn't take too many sciences like i took like the sciences that didn't require a lab which is the ones which is not the ones i need to get into this or hygiene program let's just say that so that's my school life that's what happened with school but i'm actually like loving it like i'm taking a six week <laughs> a six week freaking chemistry class chemistry lab and lecture right now and y'all is so freaking that is easy and don't get me wrong the work's easy my teacher's nice so she makes it easy as possible but y'all it's a lot of information at one time like it's a lot a lot of information at one time but you can do it though if you like determine it or whatever but y'all i got a whole three chapter exam <laughs> three chapter exam next wednesday like what is so much um what else do i want to talk about oh i talked to y'all about my relationship me and my boyfriend Javante, we're still together, happier than ever. He's good. He's honestly thinking about going to the military, so there's that. But yeah, we're good, we're happy. And we're a year and seven months right now. So we're just thriving, you know, making time. <laughs> Getting time, which is so crazy because y'all, like I've never been like a I mean, I've been in a consistent relationship, but I've never been in like a long, consistent relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the longest relationship I honestly ever been in, and it's freaking, it's freaking crazy. Like, it's crazy because it's just like, wow, I really, <laughs> I really, like, I really have a boyfriend that I love so much, and he loves me back. And it's the energy that the energy that I give him is reciprocated, baby. It's reciprocated, and I love that. So that's that. Um, I still live in Florida. That hasn't changed. What else we gonna talk about? Oh. YouTube. Currently, okay, y'all. So let me tell you about YouTube. Because if you've been with me from the beginning, you know my YouTube channel, kinda. <laughs> It's kind of all over the place, no cap. It's kind of all over the place a little bit. Like I was doing, okay, so when I first started my channel, I wanted it to be a gym channel. And then I switched to vlogging because I always want to vlog and I love vlogging. I love the gym too, don't get me wrong. Like, okay, because I'm gonna give y'all the spill on it, on all of them when I come back. And then I started doing like self-help content or whatever. So let's go to the gym. So first, I started with the gym content because I love going to the gym, I love working out. But I don't really like making content about the gym. I know y'all, I'm sorry, y'all love that content too. Y'all love my gym content, but y'all do not like, <laughs> I do not like making that content, y'all, because this may not make sense to y'all, but the gym is just like my place, like my quiet place. It's like my quiet place where it's just me. I'm working out hard, I'm I'm sweating, I'm like getting it in, like I'm literally, I don't know. It's just my quiet place, I can't explain it, but it's my quiet space, it's my space. It's my personal space that I go to decompress, that I'm like um, trying to be a better me at, and I'm just like actively going hard in it. But like when I record in the gym, it's no longer a quiet space. Now it's like, okay, it's my angle right. Oh, it's my it makes sure my camera's on. Oh, is this a good is this a good um is this a good lift or should I do something else? Like now it's oh, I have to worry about other people in the gym. Like now it's no longer my quiet space and that's why I really don't like doing sorry, doing the gym content like I used to do because because like it's not my quiet space no more and like I just don't like it. I don't like doing that type of content. It does numbers, it does well on my page, but it's like, I just don't like doing it. And I'm not gonna do something that doesn't make me happy. Like, that's just where I'm at. Like, just because something like, oh, I, thought my, I thought my nose ring was falling on my nose. Just because, just because something like it's getting numbers, it's doing really well, doesn't mean like you have to stick with it. Like, 
yes that's the idea because it's getting, it's getting you the results you want to see but if you're not happy doing it then you shouldn't have to like force yourself to do something you don't like like i want this platform to be something that i created from scratch something that i created on my own something that i love doing like i don't want it to be a chore and that's what doing the gym content was kind of becoming a chore because it's like it doesn't make me happy like yes i love the gym everybody can tell you i love the gym i love going to the gym i love working out but i just don't like making the content and i just wouldn't want to be in that space because it doesn't make me happy um second thing vlogging i love the vlog you guys um I honestly i just stopped vlogging because like it wasn't really doing well on my channel like vlogging just wasn't doing well on my channel and then it's like who's gonna watch my vlogs like nobody knows me like nobody really cares about my life so it's just like why would i continue doing that but then again i feel like i should i feel like i should crank it back up because like if i love doing something then i need to do it no matter what whatever anybody says you know no matter what the statistics say no matter what youtube says like i'm gonna do what i want to do so i do like vlogging but i just haven't done it in a long time and like i look forgot how to vlog <laughs> i look forgot how to vlog so that's that and now i am doing like self-help content right now or then I went like then I went to self help content and I really like doing the self help content like I really like talking. <laughs> if you know me personally, bro, you know I like to talk and um, honestly, like I love doing self help. Like I love sitting down and talking on camera and giving out advice or just talking about like my life type of thing and like um my stories telling stories or just um helping women in general become the best version of themselves you know i just like i love doing that and um it's weird because most little girl i always thought like i was gonna have my own talk show no cap and it's crazy how things is like full circle moment you know because like this is looking like my own talk show but I don't know, I'm thinking about doing like a podcast, like on my channel, I'm thinking about making it more like a podcast space, like maybe, um, I want to have some guests on it, but you know, I don't know a lot of people, but I have some people that I can bring up here, so don't, don't, don't add, I'm not going to bring nobody up here, but yeah, I kind of want to make this more of a podcast channel, um, because I just honestly love giving self-help content and making people feel better about themselves, making people Helping people get to where they want to be and helping people, letting people know that you can do what you want to do. Yes, it may take grit, it may take struggles, it may take a whole lot, but you can get to where you want to go. And I just really love speaking and empowering people, inspiring people, like I love doing all of that. And I love making people smile, I love making people happy, like that's what I like to do. And I love to talk. Come on somebody, I like to talk. So why not? So, my toothbrush. So yeah, that's why I'm really like, thinking about like really like going more to self-help content or like sit down talk videos because that's what I really like doing and for my vlogging honestly I may make a second channel and do vlogs because I do like vlogging but I like talking more because I feel like it serves more purpose it's more purpose to it than me just like vlogging my day and be like oh I'm going here I'm going here I'm going here like yeah sometimes but not all the time so yeah what else can I talk about? Okay, y'all. So that's what's going on with my channel, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it together. Like I know my channel is like all the place. You see gym videos, you see vlogs, you see self help content. Like you just don't know anymore. And it's like I I I need to get it in order. I need to get my channel in order. But that's what's going on with my channel right now. It's under it's under construction, but I'm still consistently posted. So don't go anywhere. There will be a video every Friday. Don't go nowhere. And then what's what else is new with my life? I'm 20. Oh yeah, I'm 20, y'all. I'm 20. If y'all didn't know, I'm 20. My birthday's March 9th. I'm 20. Um, and I just 20. I'm just give. It's just giving like a lot of lessons that I need to learn. It's giving a lot of growth. It's giving a lot of self growth in my 20s. Like, it's giving you know, gr growing seasons, growing pains. It's giving um prosperity is giving it, my 20 is giving a lot like this year is giving a lot for me and um it's giving it's also giving more of like knowing who i am learning who caris is and stuff like that and um honestly i love it um i, so I only been 20 for four months but it's definitely be like it's, it's definitely already been a little hard like been a little hard for me a lot of self-growth moments and stuff like that um 
but I'm I'm here and I'm loving it. Like I'm loving it. This is what about this is what growing up is about. And like I'm proud of myself for everything that I have done in my life so far. I mean, all I mean, a parent, I mean, up. <laughs> Obviously, I want to do more in my life. I want it's so much more I want to do. I'm not even halfway check all the boxes on my list yet, but it's definitely a stepping stone. I love where I'm at. I love where I'm at in my 20s right now. We're at 20 right now, and I'm only going up from here. I'm not going down. I'm only going up, and I'm super proud of myself of who I am, who I become, making my own decisions, doing what I want to do, doing what makes me happy. I'm very proud of myself for that, and. Yeah, don't be had. Don't be don't be scared to follow what you want to do. Don't be scared to make your own decisions because it's for me it's weird because I'm 20 now. It's like okay, let me say this. So I'm 20 now and I keep saying that, but it's weird for me to be making my own decisions because it's like for the longest time like I didn't make my own decision. Like for the longest time I had mom or dad, you know, making them for me or telling me what to do or telling me how to do something like that. And I didn't have a problem with that because it's like, you know, it's it's fine, whatever. You know, they didn't make they didn't make any bad decisions <laughs> for me. But it's like now that I'm 20, like I'm really getting that adult, like that adult type of kick. I'm really getting that. Oh, I'm grown now, kick. Like 18, 19. Yeah, you grown, but you low key, you low key still like a baby, low key. But now 20, it's like all right, I'm not a teenager no more. Like you know, I'm really grown. I'm really in this life by myself. Like whatever I choose to do with my life is my choice, and however my outcome in life is, is my because of my choices that I made. When I was younger or whenever but never so it's like now it's like making my own decisions kind of scary and kind of like a new feeling because it's like i never really <laughs> i made decisions but i didn't make like life altering decisions but now i can make like life altering decisions and it's kind of it's a, it's like a change it's definitely an adjustment that i have to make but i'm making it honey and yeah so that's what was me that's that's how my life has been i still work at walmart if anybody was wondering <laughs> <laughs> if anybody was wondering, I still work at Walmart. I'm still a personal shopper at Walmart, but yeah, I mean, I'm still a personal shopper at Walmart, but it's okay because I'm getting my coins. Okay, I'm getting my coins. And I feel like, you know, I'm doing good for 20. Life's good. Can't complain. Um, I definitely, I definitely want to do like, I definitely want to like write down like I don't know write down things that I would like to do in my 20s though because like sometimes I'll be feeling sad because I'll be like oh I haven't done this I haven't done that I haven't done that but like I have to remember like I literally just turned 24 months ago I have to remember and I be I think sometimes I'll be rushing myself to like do these things and you know of course because of social media you see everybody doing everything on social media and it's like oh well you start comparing stuff low key and it's like oh well I'm not doing this I'm not doing that so that must mean like you know I'm not good enough I'm not where I'm supposed to be and get the spray bottle out. But that's not the case, you know. Everybody does things with their own on their own time and everybody will get to where they're going on their own own time. That everybody can't be like everybody can't be a millionaire at the age of 20, like. Because honestly it's not it's not easy to become a millionaire. Like you have to put work in and stuff like that. Everybody's not cut out to do that and it's okay. Like everybody can't go on trips every month everybody can't eat out every day like you know it's okay guys we all have things that we all have things that we wish we could do but we cannot do because honestly of reality but you can get there though but you can get there though if you keep working towards what you want to do and grinding hard on your dreams and what, you, what you're doing now you can get there but it's not a race it's a marathon you know it takes time to get to where you want to go and it's okay like i'm here to tell you it's okay from a 20 year old lady black woman i'm here to tell you it's okay we all we all are not millionaires like yet like it's okay it's okay like of course i want to be one like of course i want to be one in the future but like that's not my reality right now it's okay like you don't have to rush yourself you don't have to put extra pressure on yourself and i know because i put a lot of pressure on myself to be the best to do what i to to be at like 35 when i'm only 20 like i i do that on the daily but you have to give yourself grace you have to Give your time space to like calm down and just be just enjoy the ride of life sometimes like sometimes when we're so when we're so invested in our future we miss the present moments you know you have to just slow down sometimes because everything is gonna happen like you know god's gonna do what he needs to do and he's gonna bless your life so don't even worry about it everything will happen in due time when it's supposed to happen 
just keep doing what you're doing just keep grinding you know that's all you can do is keep grinding and giving your and being and giving your best foot forward you know that's all you can do and when you do that when you know you're doing your best when you know you're out here grinding day in day out and you're doing what you need to do to get your dreams off the ground um to get the job that you want to get the promotion you want you're good you're good you're good you're good, you're good. I need my Stanley Cup, y'all, because I'm I'm dying of thirst. But yeah, guys, that's been my life, you know. Um, but I don't want to travel more. I think I want to travel more. Um, and I keep comparing my y'all. I keep comparing myself to other people. It's sad. It's it's not good. Don't do this. But I keep comparing myself to other people that's in their twenties. Like I want to like go out in my twenties and like have fun, like go to the club and some of that. But y'all, I'm not. A part I'm not a party girl. Like I'm not a club girl. I'm not a night a nightlife type of girl. But like, it's just sad. Like not sad. It's just like hard to like separate myself. Like to be. It's hard to me for me to be okay with that because like in your twenties, it's like oh you should go out with your parties and, 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 and you know that's what your twenties for. That's what how people say it. But like I don't like it. Like I don't like doing that. Like that's not what I like. That's not what I like. But I be feeling like FOMO because like the firm is not because I don't do it. But I have to understand that like I'm not like everybody else. I'm my own person and it's okay that I don't like to go out. You know what I'm saying? So I like I like to go out, but I like to travel. Like I like to travel. I like to do activities, like excursions type of thing. Um take me to a nice hotel. That's what I like. <laughs> That's what I like. Take me to a resort. But I do not like to party or go to the clubs. Like I don't I just don't like the night life, life scene, you guys. And it's okay. Like it's okay. I have to be okay with not doing what my camera be going dark because I caught it, but I have to be okay with not doing what everybody else does because again I'm my own person but you know when you're young it's hard to not feel like you're missing out on something or that you're or feel left out or something because it's like oh you're constantly reminded that oh you know most 20 year olds are doing this or that and it's like you're not doing that why aren't you doing that you know and just because like you know you don't like it you may not like to do something and it's okay like you know you don't have to do what everybody else is doing to be happy and I'm speaking to myself when I say that like because I need to be okay with being different I need to be okay with, ha with having my own type of like fun <laughs> you know what I'm saying like because to be honest I'm not like I'm not like most 20 year olds like and that's fun and even and if you do party and you drink and you do all of that and you about your nightlife girl Go out in the night, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Don't let me stop your shine, girl. You go out in the night. Like, ain't nothing wrong with going out if you like to go out. But it's just about doing stuff that you like doing, doing stuff that you want to do. Don't let other people force you to do things that you don't want to do. You know, you can say no or you can say yes. Like, don't feel bad at all. Like, make decisions for you. Be selfish right now. Like, we're 20. Say yes to things you want to say yes to. Say no to things you want to say no to because one day one day you're gonna have responsibilities and you may not be able to say yes because you have responsibilities so while we're while we are responsibility less <laughs> and we have a life to live and live it the way you want to live it you if you want to go out go out if you don't want to go out don't go out <sighs> like my mother my mother's calling me and i'm doing a video like what is she doing what is she doing I'll be back. Okay guys, so we're getting back into the video. I don't know how to talk to me or whatever, but I'm back. But yeah guys, like, my life has been good. Like, my life has been good. And I just wanted to make this video to just like give you guys an update on my life because I feel like it's very, I feel like on your platforms or any, on any platform that you have, if you're like a creator like me, and um you have a if you have a big following if you have a small following it doesn't matter i feel like it's very good to have these real these real moments with your followers and let them know you know what's going on in your life what's new with you and you know be very transparent with them and yeah my life's been good you guys um i'm only going up i'm really excited for my future you know and i just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you guys because y'all have been there long for the ride since I started, you know, since I started on YouTube, and I want to thank you guys, each and every one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, guys, this is like all just everything that I want to talk about in my life. Like, I don't think I have anything else to say. Let me see. Let me just search the right real quick.
No, that's really the only thing that I have to say, y'all. Like, I've been, I've been trying to read more, like, trying to read more, so I'll get into that. Oh, no, I forgot almost that. I, <laughs> y'all, I always be forgetting what I'm going to say. But, yeah, I've been trying to read more. Uh, I've been trying to read my Bible more because I'm trying to fell off on my Bible. I know, you know, I'm going to get back up there, though, and I kind of fell off with reading books in general. I'm gonna get back there. I'm gonna get back though. You know, we all have fall off moments, but I'm gonna get back on the horse. I'm gonna get back on it and get back on my stuff. And I just, you guys, I literally just deleted my social media. <laughs> I just deleted my TikTok, my Instagram. And that's really all the only thing that I was on a lot. But yeah, TikTok, I had to delete that because y'all, I was so addicted. Like, I'm so addicted. But I'm so addicted to social media in general. Like, just the reels and the TikToks because, like, they're having me scrolling forever. Like, so I made a decision today to just delete, you know, delete my social media. And I look, he want to delete them. I look, he feel, I look, he feel a little free. Like, I look, he feel a little freer. But yeah, I'm gonna be, you know, doing a detox on social media for a little bit. Um, I don't know how long, just until I feel like I'm, I'm okay enough. I have more, I have more self discipline to like, you know control my usage on social media because on TikTok, bro, TikTok was bad, bro. I was just scrolling, 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 scrolling. You know how it go. Y'all, like, y'all know how it go. I'm not even gonna act like y'all know how it go. Like, y'all know how it be, but yeah, I just did that, so wish me good luck on my detox. <laughs> I'm about to be bored. I'm about to be, like, tweaking. Not tweaking bad, but like, I'm about to be, like, a little jittery because I don't have social media no more. Like, I don't have TikTok. Honestly, I don't have TikTok anymore. Like, that's what it was. But I just used to go to TikTok and scroll, scroll, scroll. Another one, another video, another video. And now I don't have that. So it's like I have to. I still have YouTube on my phone though. So it's like if I need like to know how to do something or whatever, I can do that. But I really don't be on YouTube like that. Like, some, I, I used to listen to videos, like podcast videos in the car while I'm driving to school or whatever. But other than that, I really don't watch YouTube like that. But. Excuse me, but yeah, that's the only thing I have. I don't, even, I don't know. I don't. I know people say YouTube is social media, but I do not. <laughs> I do not claim YouTube as social media to me. Like social media to me is like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, type of stuff. This is like a, like it's just a platform, like a video, like a video. I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know. I just don't see YouTube as social media, but I guess it kind of is. But I don't know. But yeah guys, so that's the end of this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like the video like this, if you want more videos like this. And yeah guys, I'm about to go to my school. <laughs> I'm about to go to my six week chemistry class. <laughs> I have a lab today, so I'm gonna be in the lab with it. Um, I don't even know what we're gonna be doing in there, but yeah. And thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I am out, peace.